so you're going on your chocolate. So if you're not like sort of solidifying this down to the plexi, you just want to spread right over the edges so that it stays where you want it to while you're spreading. Making sure you're going as thin as you can, but obviously within reason for making sure that you're supposed to be able to pick it up again. Go right here for this one. This chocolate's been around a little bit, so there's going to be occasionally a few little pieces in there that you have to pick out. Those aren't square, you know, so I just feel like I have more control with a, a ruler that's got guides to 
into it. But if you're comfy and you feel like you can manage it, now I did not do those in any particular shape or size, but if you guys that are doing the tropical um, shoot, right? Tropical mm -hmm. shoot, that's yes. what it is. You guys have little squares to do. They have to be perfectly square and then rolled on their corner so that they kind of come up like a, like a point that way. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Go. That was not exactly the most articulate way to describe that. So I like cutting boards for putting flat things together too because they're small, pretty easy to manage. bottom or the top, I prefer the bottom of your uh, poly. This is where a ladle does come in sort of handy, just because you can kind of control the way the chocolate flows. You pull this right over the top, and using your fingers, just pinch this down and spread your fingers as far as you go. And this little rolling pin is really kind of, oh, double-sided discs you cannot you will ruin one in in pursuit of saving chocolate and getting too close to it so you have to space it out a bit oh my god my hand's gonna have a permanent indent mm -hmm. oh my gosh i'm not left-handed actually i can do a lot left-handed than on that all right, and the good thing about these, or the fun thing about these, you don't need to flip and weigh because they're kind of not going anywhere with the base acetate on both sides. So you can just kind of put them down and go for it. So this one will be, oh, I was supposed to be flat. No big deal. So with the curved ones, it's kind of the same ordeal. The hardest part about doing a curved double-sided garnish is unmolding it because what happens is that as you're pulling the acid off one side it's like stuck on the other and it's like 
can't, you have to like use your paring knife and stuff. So that's a little bit of a trick, but it's doable. Always remember to give yourself space here. It can be really messy if you don't give yourself the appropriate amount of space to be able to like hold that chocolate down. Oh, I didn't go very far this time, sorry. It's still so soft. It's still very satisfying, you're right. And since I'm not really making these pretty things, it looks well on there. I love making chocolate varnish. Ooh, I went a little thin. You see where I went a little thin? So, it's all right. Something really simple um, is just sticks. Um, but I wanted to show you my fancy new tool. I have this really nice comb. So it's got some different sizes, and I think it makes really beautiful sticks. Or if you're so interested, you can use the strips of acetate and do the comb like roller coaster deal. Do you guys remember those from sophomore year? So you can do that, you can use this as well. So just something to consider. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll do these. Maybe I'll be a good person and measure them too. <laughs> Measuring specifically uh, Alright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get what I can get over here. Mm, questionable as to whether I made it all the way through. You got this. I did it in sophomore. Did it do it? Nice. <laughs> it did it. Alright, alright. Someone hold that for me. The Black Forest, the mystery basket yeah. for the last one. Oh, and I've blocked that out. Yeah. I don't know what to see. Yeah, yeah. The hall is like cold. So it wouldn't get like the water mm -hmm. spots and stuff? Yeah. I've done oh, it in my... I've never heard of that before. But yeah. I'm not so sure I'm going to put that much vodka in it. No, 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 no. I'm a little concerned about that. Right. So I'll put this little guy over here. So I think I could have cut the tip slightly smaller. Maybe. So if you cut the tip really, really tiny, I think it'll be a little bit more like wiggly. But the cool thing about that is you can make that, there's um, one of our desserts, the Sunday Milan, is a donut shaped mold. So there's not a lot you can do with that. So like having a little pile of that on the corner is cute. And we can dust that with gold dust or silver dust and it kind of covers up the water spots or whatever. 
Should I try it one more time? Yeah. 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 I think I did it in Marsala oh, oh, once and it tasted like Marsala. Stop, 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 stop. One time for the one. Alright. Okay, think of, uh, and I think you have to squeeze like really hard to get it to pile up. And we'll leave it in there for a minute. So this should be fine. Alright, so I pre prepared some stamps in the blast chiller. We don't have liquid nitrogen at our disposal, which is fine. I don't really think it's necessary for this. So I just have a wildcat stamp. Oh, I have a, a couple of different ones. There's one that says JWU. And uh, so because we don't have liquid nitrogen, we, we substitute a little cold spray. So a little disc of chocolate. Did you say quarter size? Yeah, for this one, yeah, about. Because this is a little bigger. I have another one that's a little smaller. And then just pick it up. That was a little big. I could do a little less. So nickel five? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you guys even know what those look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That was a you little shade. I just threw it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like right. a little shade. That was a whole shot. Who does it go without those? That was a whole shot. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So one of the things, <laughs> one of the things to watch out for with the stamp, I just, I don't like the way it's lifting up. Mm. Try this. Why don't you want to just let it sit on there and harden like that? 